Hey guys, in this video, I do a review and installation of this brand new model from DeepSeek. Usually they have the really big models that are really hard to run locally, but uh, essentially what they've done as DeepSeek is Chinese and so is Quen3, I realize I say QN a lot. Um, what they've done is they've taken the brand new, as of a month ago, QN3, a billion model, and I'm sure they're gonna do this to other models in the future, and they've applied or fine tuned it on the new data set that DeepSeek R1 published on uh, 0528. So this is essentially going to make QN3 a billion much smarter, much more capable of performing tasks as DeepSeek R10528 is essentially the closest thing that we have to ChatGPT 03 locally. So although not many people can run that unless you have 500 gigabytes of RAM, even myself cannot run that. So we take the distilled model, which is what it's called, and we apply it to this QN3 8 billion data set and DeepSeek has already done this for us. So I'll leave the link down below. As you can see right here, DeepSeek R1 is outperforming or even like right mm. on par with OpenAI 03, Gemini 2.50 Pro. So we're not actually able to, you know, run this locally. So instead, what do we do? Well, um, this is going to be the QN3 8 billion version of this. What you can do is you can go down to um, quantizations. And you will now see a lot of different stuff. So here is Unsloth. Unsloth allows you to, uh, they build their models in a way that allows you with low cost and low effort to be able to fine tune your models on. So if you're big into fine tuning, I would definitely recommend looking into Unsloth. Bartowski, he's like the OG go-to for quantizing models in GGUF format or Olama's uh, format. Then you have LM Studio community, as you just saw, this is a GGUF file, but for LM Studio, as I'm now and go check out that other video using LM Studio, um, but I'm using the MLX version, right? So I'm using this one, which is the 8-bit MLX 8 billion QN3 with the DeepSeek R1 on top of it, right? So usually you just want to look at like which one has the most downloads, but if you're on Olama, you'll need the GGUF. Right. If you're on LM Studio, you'll probably either need the GGUF or the MLX one, depending on Mac or Windows. So let's just imagine that we wanted to uh, click on this. Well, now you're going to understand that there are different quant sizes or quantizations of this model. So usually people will go for a uh, Q4K underscore M or they'll go for an 8-bit, a Q8. Uh, usually that's where your sweet spot is a four bit or an eight bit sometimes a five bit a six bit but usually you want to keep it within four bit and eight bit depending on your size of your hardware okay so what now we want to do is this is a gguf file so if we're using a llama we can just click this right here and i can say this is the q4km one boom i can go ahead and run this inside of my terminal um, and it would be able to uh, with just this command line as long as i have a llama it would be able to install this now i can use this in open web ui Etc. But um, another thing that we could do is if you're on LM Studio, as I just showed in that video, and you're using MLX, well, inside of LM Studio, I'm able to use this now on my other computer, not this computer I'm on right now. Uh, but the purpose of this video I wanted to make is that it shows you that no matter the uh, new kind of things that happen in the open source space that you might not be able to have access to because you're, you know, restraints with technology, just know that that's what this open source community is for, for other uh, AI companies and other AI researchers to apply the openly available data sets from the newer models and distill them into the smaller models. So at this point, these aren't even large language models. These are small language models that are fine tuned on the data sets from large language models. So. As of right now, if you're using QN38 billion, which a lot of you guys should be, it fits on pretty much everything you're doing. Um, like at this point, this is going to outperform so much better than the normal QN38 billion. And I actually did a test yesterday where I downloaded all of the QN327 billions, all of the Gemma327 billions, QAT and non QAT, all of the different quantizations, 4 bit and 8 bit. And I gave it a set of prompts that I usually have. Like these are like my kind of fine tuning prompts. I recommend all you guys set this up your own like 20 prompts that you use to test beyond all the AI models so you know which is best for you specifically. And when I asked for a guide, tutorial, easy to understand, step by step, 10 Zapier automations for my community, I will tell you, even the 32 billion QN was giving me very just generalized answers. But when I threw this into DeepSeek R1, 0528, QN3, 8 bit MLX, 8 bit, 
I will tell you, I was astonished with the outcome. It provided links to Zapier resources. It provided an overview of why we were even talking about this. It even provided a prerequisite and requirements list, and it used inline like text and code inside of the response to provide me with not only each trigger of the Zap, each app in the Zap, the reason that we're setting it up, how it helps, and then even like the copy inside the Slack messages, everything. And usually I was someone who thought you had to run the bigger models at a bigger quantization to get output like that. But that proved to me that I have this you know, great computer that I set up the 32 billion QN3. And I ask it that question with my settings, obviously make sure your temperature is good with the QN3 settings that they recommend. And I was using those settings, but I will tell you nothing has compared to that output. And they usually say that smaller things, like unless you're coding or unless you're doing something super advanced, you don't need the biggest model. You need a smaller model that's fine-tuned on a data set from an extremely large language model, okay? So I would guide you guys, if I'm going to be using anything to create assets, documents, many chat, you know, resources, anything, right now, as of I've tested all the different quants and all the different models that I'm using, this one has got to be the best one so far. And there, sometimes there's a few issues with its thinking. It'll get stuck in its think. So just make sure in your prompt, you do slash no underscore think. If you don't want it to think, if you start getting it to hallucinate, look at your temperature and settings. But outside of that, I want all of you guys, whether on LM Studio or Olama or Open Web UI, to download this DeepSeq R10528 QN3 ABIL MLX APIT and make it create internal assets for your company, marketing material and assets, resources for your communities, anything that you're doing, go ahead and run it through this, okay? And I want you guys to comment down below what your results were, even screenshot them, share them, copy and paste them, share your prompts. Guys, there's only so much that I could do as I'm scouring and researching all of this information for you, bring it to you guys. So I'm gonna ask you guys to take it from here, but please look into this, it might change your life.